Ever heard of Poppelgangers? Those are popular songs that, for one reason or another, sound exactly the same as other popular songs. And surprisingly, these are more common than you might think. Welcome to our channel, and today we'll be taking a look at 10 popular songs that actually sound the same as other songs. Stay until the end of our video to find out about these incredibly suspicious ripoffs, and also subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on for more great videos like today. Without further ado, let's begin with our countdown. 10th place, Selena Gomez and Camila Cabello. We're kicking off our list with Celine Gomez's Same Old Love and Camila Cabello's Havana, released in 2015 and 2017 respectively. They have exactly the same slinky, snap-accented intro, and their beats are roughly the same, except for their different lyrics. In fact, these two pop stars are so similar to one another that the unwary fan might confuse them as one and the same. Let's take a look. Cause I won't be changing too. Ninth place, Born This Way and Express Yourself. You know a song can be considered a ripoff when the queen herself, Madonna, labeled it as such, and she claimed that Gaga's 2011 track Born This Way is a ripoff of her 1989 hit Express Yourself. With their chorus being pretty much one and the same, and the overall message of those two songs being eerily similar, there's no doubt that something happened here. If you don't believe us, take a look for yourself. Anyway, both songs are so similar that Madonna even sarcastically requested Gaga to credit her for helping her write the song. If you know what we mean, of course. Eighth place, Fifth Harmony's Work From Home and Cashmere Cat's Trust Nobody featuring Selena Gomez and Tori Lanez. Both of these songs have a jazzy, synth-led vibe that makes one think they might sound almost the same. Though Trust Nobody clocks in at a much slower pace, the driving melody sounds eerily similar to 5H's Work From Home, released six months prior. However, the resemblance is strongest at the beginning of each song. <laughs> I'ma tell you I want it. Baby, tell me how you need it. I worry about nothing. I am wearing a nada. Seventh place, TikTok and California Girls. Kesha's TikTok was a hit and her debut single, co-written with producers Dr. Luke and Benny Blanco. This song was one of the biggest hits in history, being certified eight times platinum by the RIAA and by 2020, the third best-selling digital single worldwide. The song was listed 61st on the Billboard Hot 100 Songs of All Time. It's probably the single song that made Kesha famous. Then we have California Girls by Katy Perry, written as the lead single for her third studio album, Teenage Dream, released back in 2010. The song features verses from rapper Snoop Dogg, both artists co-wrote the song with Bonnie McKee and its co-producers, Dr. Luke and Max Martin. See something similar here? There's a high chance that since Dr. Luke was in both songs, he might have recycled a few of the beats, the playful vocal effects, and the synth-driven production. Sixth place. Bruno Mars and the Police. Next up, we have Bruno Mars and the Police with their songs Locked Out of Heaven and Roxanne. While Bruno Mars is generally known as one of the good guys of music, he kind of admitted that his 2012 hit was a nod to the police. However, this might be a slight understatement, as the songs are so similar, one might think instead of a nod, he was trying to copy the song. Hell yeah, you try to write a police song, he told MTV when asked if he thought the track sounded similar. I grew up listening to the police. I grew up performing in bars, singing police songs. As an artist, as a songwriter, your goal is to always have one of those songs that, from the very first chord, it does something to the body. Seems like a valid excuse, although still a bit suspicious when you listen to both of them. So what do you think of these disguised ripoffs so far? Did you know about them previously? Let us know in the comments. Fifth place, Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber and Cheryl. When chart titans Ed and Justin dropped their collaboration a few years ago, 
some immediately noticed a similarity in the chorus with another chart topper, Cheryl's 2014 single, I Don't Care. It's pretty undeniable, right? It's not the first Ed single to bear a strikingly similar to another hit either, as you'll see next in this list. But you have to keep watching if you want to find out. Cause I don't care when I'm with my baby, yeah. All the bad things disappear. Waking up diagonal like an animal in a cold and empty. Fourth place, Lana Del Rey and Radiohead. Next up in our list, we have Radiohead and Lana Del Rey, with their songs Creep and Get Free, respectively. Get Free was released as part of Lana Del Rey's Lust for Life album, and Radiohead reportedly complained that Lana outright plagiarized their song Creep. What makes this ironic and even funnier is the fact that Creep itself was in a legal battle of its own over similarities to the Hollies' 1972 hit The Air That I Breathe, resulting in writers Albert Hammond and Mike Hazelwood suing to receive co-writing credits and a percentage of the song's royalties. Does that mean that Lana should give Hammond and Hazelwood money too? Anyway, the lawsuit was dropped and she snarkily told her fans during a concert, Now that my lawsuit's over, I guess I can sing that song anytime I want, right? However, you guys be the judge. Are the songs the same? Let us know in the comments below. In a beautiful Third place, Ed Sheeran and Sia. We did mention Ed Sheeran's a little bit infamous for doing this, despite his overall great song and personal brand. This time, the victim was Sia and Cheap Thrills. Cheap Thrills has a similar intro beat to Shape of You's overall theme. On top of that, both songs are very similar to TLC's 1999 hit No Scrubs. Anyway, Shape of You was number one for 13 weeks. Cheap Thrills spent four weeks at number two, and No Scrubs topped out at number three. So if the formula works, it works. Actually, things make a little bit more sense after realizing those facts. Come on, come on, turn the radio on. It's Friday night and I won't be long. The club isn't the best place to find a lover, so the bar is where I go. Second place, Maroon 5 and Kendrick Lamar, Justin Bieber and DJ Snake. This one's a funny one because it seems more like a four-way fight than two songs that actually sound the same, but it's actually because Maroon 5 collaborated with Kendrick Lamar in Don't Wanna Know, while Justin Bieber and DJ Snake collaborated on Let Me Love You. The first one reached number five in 2016, has the No No No, and Let Me Love You, which spent six weeks at number two in early 2016, has the Na Na Na, which if you pay close attention are literally the same thing pronounced with a different accent. First place, Kelly Clarkson and Beyonce. In the first spot of our list, we have none other than the fight between Kelly Clarkson's Already Gone and Beyonce's Halo, which made headlines as the songs aren't actually similar, they are literally the same thing. In fact, you could pass them as the same thing at a party and only the most hardcore Queen Bay fans could possibly notice any sort of difference between these. Beyonce went top 10 in 2009 with Halo. Kelly decided against a full release for Already Gone in the UK for obvious reasons. Any guesses? And that was our countdown of the 10 popular songs that are actually the same as other songs. Which one was your favorite ripoff? Just kidding. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and also make sure to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more great videos like today. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.